Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers related to implementation projects in SAP FICO interviews. 1. What is the role of an SAP FICO consultant in an implementation project? Answer in an implementation project, an SAP FICO consultant is responsible for configuring the SAP FICO modules based on business requirements, conducting workshops, and ensuring the successful rollout of the system. 2. Explain the key phases of an SAP FICO implementation project. Answer. The key phases include project preparation, business blueprinting, realization, final preparation, and go live and in support. Each phase focuses on specific activities such as planning, documentation, configuration, testing, and system deployment. 3. How do you gather business requirements in the business blueprinting phase of an SAP FICO project? Answer. Business requirements are gathered through interviews with key stakeholders, document analysis, and workshops. The goal is to understand the organization's financial processes and map them to SAP FICO functionalities. 4. Explain the significance of a fit or gap analysis in SAP FICO implementation. Answer. Fit or gap analysis compares business requirements with standard SAP functionalities. Identified gaps represent areas where customization or additional development may be required to meet specific business needs. 5. How do you approach the design and configuration of the SAP FICO chart of accounts during implementation? Answer. The design involves mapping the organizational structure to the SAP chart of accounts. Configuration includes defining account groups, field status, groups, and other settings to align with the organization's reporting and legal requirements. 6. What is SAP ASAP methodology? And how does it apply to SAP FICO implementation projects? Answer. ASAP Accelerated SAP is a project management methodology for SAP implementations. It includes phases, deliverables, and tools to guide consultants. Through project activities, ensuring a structured and efficient implementation. 7. Explain the role of SAP FICO master data in an implementation project, and how do you ensure data quality? Answer. Master data, including customer, vendor, and asset. Master data is crucial for SAP FICO processes. Consultants define data migration strategies, cleanse and validate data, and ensure accurate mapping during the implementation. 8. How do you approach the configuration of SAP FICO General Ledger FIGL in an implementation project? Answer. FIGL configuration involves defining chart of accounts, account groups, document types, and other settings. Consultants tailor the system to meet legal, porting, and business requirements through customization. 9. Explain the concept of SAP FICO integration with other modules, and how do you ensure seamless integration during an implementation? Answer. Integration involves coordination with modules like MM and SD. Consultants map data flows, configure interfaces, and perform testing to ensure smooth data exchange between SAP, FICO, and other modules. 10. How do you configure SAP FICO accounts payable FIAP for invoice processing in an implementation project? Answer. FIAP configuration includes defining vendor master data, tolerance groups, payment terms, and automatic payment programs. Consultants tailor settings to align with the organization's payment processes. 11. Explain the steps involved in configuring SAP FICO accounts receivable FIAR for customer invoicing. Answer. Configuration includes defining customer master data, billing document types, credit management settings, and dunning procedures. Consultants customize the system to match the organization's receivables processes. 12. What considerations are important for SAP FICO asset accounting FIAA configuration in an implementation project? Answer. FIAA configuration involves defining asset classes, depreciation areas, and asset master data. Consultants consider legal requirements, depreciation methods, and reporting needs during customization.
13. How do you approach SAP FICO tax configuration during an implementation? And what factors influence tax setup? Answer. Tax configuration includes defining tax codes, tax jurisdictions, and tax rates. Consultants consider legal requirements, jurisdiction-specific rules, and tax reporting needs when configuring tax settings. 14. Explain the role of SAP FICO Cost Center Accounting Co. CCA in an implementation project, and how do you set up cost centers? Answer. Co. CCA is configured by defining standard hierarchy, cost centers, and cost center groups. Consultants align cost center structures with the organizational hierarchy and assign relevant attributes. 15. What is the purpose of SAP FICO Profit Center Accounting Co. PCA, and how do you configure profit centers in an implementation? Answer. Co. PCA enables tracking profits by business segment. Consultants configure profit centers by defining standard hierarchies, profit center groups, and assigning relevant cost and revenue elements. 16. How do you approach SAP FICO Internal Order Co-IO Configuration in an Implementation Project? Answer. Co-IO configuration involves defining order types, planning profiles, and settlement rules. Consultants customize internal orders to track costs and allocate expenses to specific projects or business areas. 17. Explain the SAP FICO Product Costing Co. PC module and how do you configure it to meet manufacturing requirements? Answer. CoPC configures product costing for manufactured goods. Consultants define cost components, costing variants, and cost estimates to calculate product costs accurately. 18. How do you ensure data migration success in SAP FICO implementation, and what tools do you use for data cleansing and conversion? Answer. Data migration involves data extraction, cleansing, and conversion. Consultants use tools like LUSM Legacy System Migration Workbench for data migration, ensuring data accuracy and consistency. 19. Explain the concept of SAP FICO document splitting, and how do you configure it for parallel accounting in an implementation project? Answer. Document splitting enables the segmentation of financial documents for parallel accounting. Consultants configure document splitting rules, business transactions, and activate the feature to meet legal and reporting requirements. 20. How do you approach SAP FICO Bank Accounting Phi BL configuration, and what considerations are important for bank-related settings? Answer. Phi BL configuration involves defining house banks, bank accounts, and payment methods. Consultants customize settings for electronic bank statements, payment programs, and bank reconciliation to align with business processes. 21. Explain the steps involved in SAP FICO Funds Management FM configuration during an implementation. Answer. FM configuration includes defining commitment items, fund centers, and budget structures. Consultants configure FM to track budgetary commitments and align with the organization's financial planning. 22. How do you approach SAP FICO lockbox configuration for efficient handling of incoming customer payments? Ants lockbox configuration involves defining lockbox formats, data conversion rules, and mapping procedures. Consultants tailor settings to streamline the processing of incoming payments through lockbox. 23. What is the purpose of SAP FICO Special Purpose Ledger Phi SL, and how do you configure it to meet specific reporting requirements? Answer. Phi SL is used for parallel accounting and specialized reporting. Consultants configure Phi SL by defining document types, fields, and structures to fulfill unique reporting needs. 24. How do you configure SAP FICO Cash Management Phi CM to optimize liquidity planning in an implementation project? Answer. Phi CM configuration involves setting up liquidity items, cash position types, and planning groups. Consultants customize cash management to enable accurate forecasting and optimize liquidity planning. 25. Explain the concept of SAP FICO Credit Management Phi CM 
and how do you configure credit control areas during an implementation? Answer. FICM manages credit risks by defining credit control areas, credit limits, and risk categories. Consultants configure credit management to align with credit policies and ensure effective credit control. 26. How do you approach SAP FICO real estate reconfiguration, and what are the key settings for managing real estate assets? Answer. Reconfiguration involves defining real estate objects, contracts, and settlement rules. Consultants customize settings to manage leases, rental income, and expenses related to real estate assets. 27. Explain the role of SAP FICO Project Systems PS integration in an implementation project, and how do you configure it for project-based accounting? Answer. PS integration enables tracking costs and revenues for projects. Consultants configure PS by defining project structures, networks, and milestones to align with project accounting requirements. 28. How do you approach SAP FICO cross-company code transactions, configuration, and what considerations are important for intercompany processes? Answer. Cross-company code transactions configuration involves defining document types and settings for intercompany transactions. Consultants ensure that transactions between different company codes are executed accurately and in compliance with legal requirements. 29. Explain the SAP FICO asset under construction AUK concept. And how do you configure it for capital project management during an implementation? Answer. AUK is used to capitalize costs during the construction phase of assets. Consultants configure AUK by defining asset classes settlement profiles, and allocation structures to manage capital projects efficiently. 30. How do you ensure a smooth transition from the SAP FICO implementation phase to the go-live phase? And what post-implementation support activities are crucial? Answer. Transition involves comprehensive testing, user training, and data validation. Post-implementation support includes monitoring system performance addressing user queries, and conducting periodic reviews to ensure ongoing success. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP FICO implementation projects. Interviewers may adjust questions based on the candidate's experience and the specific requirements of the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.